make up more or not. Mm -hmm. Am I correct that this would add only about $4,500 to get through <coughs> at the end of the fiscal year mm -hmm. for all employees? Mm -hmm. okay. Correct. I think we set aside 30000 so that's... Because last year with the 13%, it was a huge increase, so we set plenty aside. Well, in Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act, and we weren't sure how his changes were going to be, dropping it down to 30 hours requires an employee for coverage, so we kind of... <laughs> Thought we better plan for that. We've always planned it at 32 hours. You're eligible for insurance, but two hours can make a huge difference on our hiring, who's working. So we thought to be sure we're ready. We made sure we had it in case we had any employees. We work less than 32 hours, so we we were made sure we had enough. But it's like a budget. It's a guess. Sure. Any more questions for Debbie on the proposal? Uh, those of you on the <coughs> committee, do you have any <coughs> arguments to make to us for this proposal? Not to put you on the spot, but you know, putting you on the spot. <laughs> okay. <coughs> any anything else from the board? I'm glad it's only two and a half percent. Mm -hmm. I would yeah. have been surprised to see it higher. Yeah, for, for all employees, an increase of 4,500 is not that I'm not happy to see an increase, but <clears throat> it's it a little one, one. Mm -hmm. and not the bigger one we've seen in the past, which has really made it hard. Got employees and how to come to you and say, help. Yeah, I think the last two increases was total to. 25% increase in the last two years is what I had figured out at one time. There's 25% increase in the insurance. So. And we shared that burden with the, mm -hmm. the employees, mm -hmm. which of course hits your bottom line. Mm -hmm. That was one of the words of advice from some of the staff, from the people on the committee, is that they're seeing less take home now than we were three years ago. I know some of that has to do with you know, Obama and taking away the 2% of our federal and then making us pick it up again. But the tax tables and everything else combined, you know, some of us are seeing less take home than we were three years ago. <coughs> but costs are still increasing and everybody feels like they're just having a hard time making ends meet. So that was something I was supposed to share. Well, it's the fact. Their take home is less, and it goes less. Do you want a motion? Yeah, I think uh, so that Debbie can proceed. We probably should go ahead and, and uh, follow through with the motion either way, so that she can proceed with what she needs to do in payroll to get this covered for the May um, May date. <clears throat> I'll make a motion then that we do the $29 a month per employee increase picked up by the commission. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to um, honor the insurance review committee's request that the county pick up the $22 increase per month per employee. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. And um, if you'll notice on your agenda, this is in red, it was part of the revised agenda. And this was so that we could be sure and, and have it here today with um, enough time for Debbie to be able to take care of that on the table. And I do thank you for that. Yeah. Thank Absolutely. you for saying yes on behalf of the employees. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy. Oh, she said 22. Would you send out a memo? Okay. What was the what was the dollar amount that you mentioned? Twenty nine dollars. Okay. That's what I thought you said, but we weren't sure. Oh, <laughs> all right. I yes. know. I heard twenty two, and so did Scott. But. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was reading, so that's probably my head was down, and I probably mumbled. So <laughs> twenty nine. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Much. And and truly, to you know, I know you guys are just the committee, but on behalf of the commission, to you guys representing the employees, thank you for what you do, the hours you put in, the dedication you show this county. You guys are very appreciated. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have one more question. Yes. If a person is not on the county health insurance, can a person buy, say, AFLAC in the county pay? What what started some of that is the Teamsters required everybody to be grant pick up the health insurance. And what made us ineligible in the past is that there were some employees who had coverage through their spouses, Medicare, and they opted out of it. And so Teamster said, no, you're not eligible because we require 100% participation. So at that time, we grandfathered certain people in as of their hire date to say, you don't have to. And the county decided to give some of those employees an option to have some AFLAC coverage in lieu of not picking up the health insurance. That would be up to you and the commission if you wanted to decide to change that. And who can pick up AFLAC? The employees do have the option of AFLAC, but it's all their contribution. There's no county sponsorship. That's how that got started, is if you were here, hired after, I think October 2003, you were required to pick up health insurance. But as like officials, you're not required either. You have the option of picking it up. That would be something you guys could discuss. If something in the future, if you wanted to, I think it's doable. The county pick up a portion of your athlete in lieu of the health coverage, but that's a decision you might as well have to make over ruling that prior. Thank you. Be done. Have to say the word to me. So, that's how that got started. There's only four of us, isn't it? Um, there's two employees currently still on payroll that don't. And as elected official, I think you, you might be the only one that doesn't. So there's just three. Everybody else picks up the health insurance or does the AFLAC. And that's something we have to factor into the budgeting process too, is for those AFLAC coverages for that health insurance <coughs> to be sure that that they ever change that and lose their grandfather status, it's done. The Teamsters grandfathered that, that <coughs> clause, and waived that for us this last time. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Any other questions? Mm. All right, thank you very much. Um, <coughs> And then I'll talk to you about the uh, the other. I was going to talk to you about the horses, but I'll talk to you after the meeting, okay? And um, tell you what we discussed and give you the paperwork as soon as we get copies made. I know I was asked to fax <coughs> expenditure reports to try to help with some of that to see if we could have help. So kind of have an idea what's going on. Cool. I like mine. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Thanks, Thank you guys. You. Thank you. It is 11.45, I saw Bernadette. Certificate of Survey Review, support of this decision. It's been a long time. Yeah, it seems like it. It does, yeah. You've been missing it, you know. I know. All right, the first one I have is a tract um, for a member of the family for Darlington's along um, Price Road. Um, this is where their house is, and I guess they're selling off their fields ah. and um, picking their house. So they did a family member tract, and um, what is the um, the squared in? Is this the family tract right here? No, no, this is, this is an existing um, mortgage survey that's on file. Oh, okay. So it's not a real tract, but um, by state law you have to show any surveys. Okay. And right. so that's a previous survey. Um, I, you know, I don't know whether it's an active mortgage tract, whether they have a mortgage on that. Um, it's just like two, uh, no, five acres. Yeah. Um, or if that's been paid off, but it is a survey, a certificate of survey on file. 
When somebody does, this is just for my own education, when somebody does pay off their mortgage mm -hmm. and they had a mortgage track, does that mortgage track automatically go away then? Or do they have to it, go through a process? No, it automatically does. It's only um, for a bank to okay. hold on to, uh, for collateral. If um, they ever went to get another mortgage, they could probably go with a different bank or the same bank or whatever and use the same mortgage survey that's on file. Then oh. that bank could, you know, uh, lay claim to that. It's it's um, just a, a, a for the collateral purposes of the bank. It doesn't create a real mortgage or more tr uh, real tract unless there was a default situation. Okay. But it's right. so that someone wouldn't lose their whole farm or whatever. Yeah, and it makes good sense. I've never had anyone do that, so I'm, I'm assuming if it's on record that any you know, bank could use it, but I've not ever had that happen. <laughs> yeah. And I would think it just it doesn't come back to us, so therefore it just either falls off or is yeah. down. Yeah. 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 They're, they're still on file there, so right. I, I would assume they could be used yeah. by them, but I don't. Right, <laughs> right. We're just speculating. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be up to the bank. Mm -hmm. oh, and if you know, a lot of the banks specify they want this much acreage. Um, uh -huh. You know, depending on the amount of money that's owed with the house, it could be five acres, ten acres. It could be one acre. So it, you know, it could change, or they might want to do one with different acreage. Any questions on this? No. Any motion to support the family tract? So moved. Yeah, it's been moved and seconded to support the family transfer and tract for um, immediate family. Um, Darlington. Darlington. Darlington, thank you. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. And then number two is for. Um, the boards out um, by Cactus Lane, out by the silos. Um, community board, this is their house. And right now, um, their parcel is um, all of this, uh, 8.47 acres. And they just moved the line from here to here. So that now they have um, a 10 acre parcel and a 3 acre parcel with the house. Is this all already on record as the uh, minor subdivision? Yes. Okay. And that's why, yeah, it, it's the second amended um, board minor. Okay. Um, because they had. Um, Divided this or did a boundary location down here for a smaller tract at one point in time because I believe um, these lots went this way, this square here, and then they um, took the south one and made it smaller and made this one bigger. Huh. So they moved the boundary before. All right. Okay, as long as everything meets all the criteria you need, I guess, it's fine with me. Okay, is that a second? Yeah. Yeah, it's been moved and seconded to support the um, Second Amendment to the Ward Minor Subdivision. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. You're welcome. Do they own this lot still, do you know? No. There's not a house on there right now, though. Is there? I think there is. Is there? I okay. So. Is it the, the little house that looks like a garage, just a starter? I don't know. No, oh, I can't remember off the top Dan of my head. Dan, there's one out there. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, Dan, uh, well, oh, he goes out and does the surveying. I just sit in the office and <laughs> draw pretty pictures. <laughs> I thought you were saying that he was actually buying some lots no, out there. No. All right. No, he's the one, actually, though, that goes out in the field and does the field work. So Very good. A lot of these I know where they are, but I don't get to go out and be outside. You get the pleasure of coming to see us. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Have a good day. Julie, do you need to see us at all? No, I was okay. waiting to see Bernadette. All right, thanks. Okay, uh, Commissioner's Community Update. Franklin, what'd you do this week? I'm the conservation dinner. All right. Ditto. All right. Is it the conservation dinner? Ditto. Um, it was good. I didn't get to eat. Um, we were just there for an hour, and then I went to the play. Um, but I, did you guys notice the Deep Creek Restoration Project took up almost an entire wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. <clears throat> and I was glad to see the pictures in there the so people could see. Yes, I was too. Um, yeah, it was that started a lot of good conversations too. So what did you get bought from the Sally Marching? Um... I put in for three things, and I got outbid, I think, by Linda Davis on um, jewelry, but I got um, Nita Barra's um, butterfly necklace and the um, basket, the um, pottery basket. Kind of a side note, uh, Missy Cox came and said, Elaine, what am I going to do? Linda told me to only go $30, and it's already at 30 I said, $32.50. Do I need to call him? I said, no, just tell my friend did that to her. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah, it was 30. But that um, no, was, it was very nice, well done dinner. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, there was also a um, JDAI uh, meeting last week. That's the Juvenile Detention Alternative Initiative. Um, Montana is one of just four states in the nation <clears throat> to get a grant to investigate some alternatives to um, essentially what happens right now is kids who end up going into lockup as juveniles become career criminals. Mm -hmm. So how do we rehabilitate them, get them off the streets where they can do no more harm and not create criminals mm -hmm. of them? So that's what JDAI is all about. Um, also, I had a meeting on the Agency on Aging. We have our uh, big meeting coming up here in two weeks where we grant all the, uh, the grants which pay for the senior dinner clubs, food, um, foot clinics, um, in-home assistance. Linda Campbell has a grant where um, she has uh, Jerry that goes into people's homes to just kind of help them out for a certain amount, and it's for low income. Um, and that's just, it's under Rocky, but it's just for the aging services. We don't do anything other than just for aging um, and disability. Um, and then, um, just again, the play was phenomenal. Those kids were amazing. So, and so are the teachers. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, Rocky got canceled this week again. Oh. Is, is it rescheduled then? No. Yet, or just canceled? It was postponed a week and then canceled. Huh for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. well, anything else for the good of the order? Going, going, gone. Any final comments? All right, we are adjourned. Thanks for coming, everybody. And um, we don't have a, a restructuring meeting this Wednesday. I didn't get it on the agenda last week. But um, we will on the 9th, and then we'll address Doug's issues, if that works for you guys. On the 9th? Yeah. <clears throat> which is a, a regularly scheduled meeting day. Thanks, Anne.